Hey guys, it's Bella and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing my planner flip through for the first six months. Um, I was originally going to do these quarterly and then I just kind of lost track of time um, and <laughs> never got around to doing it. So I thought I would do just sort of like the um, half yearly flip through. So I will do one now and then I will do one probably, if not right at the end of this year, then the beginning of next. Um, so yeah, and apologies for going this going up super late as well. Obviously we are now in August. Um, I did take a little bit of a um, YouTube break and I also had to catch up on some spreads anyways. So yes, um, so starting off, um, if you wanna know the planner that I'm using, I am using a Penny Pages A5 wide um, coiled planner, vertical planner, um, which I bought off of her Etsy page, but I do know that she also has a standalone so I will have that linked in the description. Um, the tabs are from Crest Press um, that were intended for like her inserts but they work basically for any planner um, and yeah I have decorated my cover pages because um, the cover pages in these come like blank but this is a dated planner um, so yes I basically tried to do something different this year and I bought some Tombos um, and matched them to the kits that I'm using for my monthlies and so I use those Tombos for my um, notes page spreads because the notes page spreads are really the only blank spreads in this planner. So this is the cover page for January and so this theme I kind of just did like chapter whatever so chapter one and January with my terrible handwriting. <laughs> um, so yeah and then this is the first page um, which is sort of like a yeah like a dashboard spread so um, for this top part I like to use it for dates to remember so any important dates um, which I do have I do use the monthly in here anyway but I just like this there as like my first port of call and then I do use this for my playlist section because I really enjoy actually like tracking what I'm listening to in the month um, and especially because I'm into K-pop and so much happens uh, every month um, it's nice to find out what I was listening to and what albums and groups I was into. So I will have my playlists um, linked down below, my Spotify um, link down below because um, I do do like quarterly playlists. So yes, so um, I will have those linked in the description. But do keep in mind that a lot of it is K-pop and then some of it is Western music. Um, uh, so yeah, um, but it may be like rap or whatnot. So just language warning if that's something that you don't like, I guess, um, but you'll see it because it's on Spotify. So yes. And then here is my monthly. So like I said, for my monthlies, I have been using um, Caress Press the entire year and I really, really have been enjoying um, this option um, because she does do two monthlies, like two different options. So if there's like a seasonal option that doesn't apply to me because I'm in the Southern Hemisphere, then there's usually another option that I can use. And then there are some cases where I do use these sort of like uh, non-relatable options. So like, for example, July, I did a 4th of July spread just because the other option I didn't really like or I had used a kit with that um, art and so I didn't really feel like doing it again. So yeah, um, but this is January. So this was the blast off art from Kittenish Girl Jess. So this was, like I said, January, which I'll probably go through most of these things um, in my weekly spread. So I don't really want to go over them too much. Um, but yeah, I sort of use my monthlies as a functional and then also sometimes for some for some memory keeping things. I'm trying to do this as a talk through, so if I mess up, I'm going to try not to like um, freak out and whatnot, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, I do use this for like uh, functional planning, so if I have any appointments or bills um, and whatnot, um, but then I do also do memory keeping, so like Happy Mail, um, TV shows, um, K-pop releases, um, what else? Yeah, and just anything that's sort of going on. And then this month um, was my final month at my older job, which was um, like Christmas retail. So like obviously the end of the Christmas season was like January. So yeah, I had a couple of shifts this month. I was supposed to have more, but they did get, um, I did get some shifts canceled just because the demand wasn't as high as the previous months. But yeah, so I do mark that in as well. Um, so yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory, but I do really love how this turned out. Um, I do have my monthly spreads on my channel. So if you do want to watch me plan those, you can. Um, I do tend to use like the items from the kit and then whatever leftovers that I have or um, stickers from my collection that match. So yes. And then here are the other sort of like notes pages. So um, I use this page here as like a currently um, kind of page. So like what I'm watching, um, social media tracking, reading, um, then like a celebrating which is, yeah, anything that I'm, like, celebrating. So, for example, 
Oh, like the obvious ones, so I had like Hello 2021, my birthday, because my birthday was in January, um, and then also that I reached 50 classes for Pilates, which was awesome. Things that I'm looking forward to, so whether it be like a new album or an event or something. Um, I did how I was feeling, but I think I took this out in future months because I just like wasn't really kind of using that. And then like a wish list, um, which I don't always fill this out, but sometimes I do, so this one I put in that I wanted a specific K-pop album. And then I have my goals, which is a lot easier at the beginning of the month, um, the beginning of the year than like the rest of the months. But um, I try to do like some goals and then like a running to-do list for the month um, that doesn't have like any specific date. So yeah, that is that. And again, using the Tombos that match. Um, and I may just put like a list of all the Tombos that I've used this year in well, this, not this year, this half, I guess, in the description as well. So then this is the first spread. This was a kit from... Um, the sticker party, so this was her like New Year's kit, which I just really loved because I thought the colours were really different, like it wasn't your typical like kind of um, gold and sort of black, but it also wasn't like that sort of purple and silver that was going around as well because there was two different art sets, like one was sort of like a gold art set and then there was the kittenish girl dress art set. But I really love this, um, and I do believe the shop owner, I totally, did, I'm blanking on her name, I'm so sorry, but I do believe she draws the art for her kits herself, so I just thought this was really cute. Um, so yeah, like I said, this week um, we had a public holiday on the Monday because that was like the Boxing Day holiday because Boxing Day fell on a weekend. So then, yeah, I think that was what that was. And then what else? Um, I got my headphones in the mail because I wanted a new pair of headphones for Christmas. Um, and the I wanted a specific color because I did get the, um, I think it's the Boss Quiet Oh, I forgot what it's called. Quiet something, quiet comfort or something. I don't know. They're like noise cancelling headphones because I did have a pair of Beats, um, which I had for a really long time and then I broke them. Well, the cable broke um, and I like to use um, headphones with my computer because I like to use it like when I edit and when I watch um, videos and whatnot. Um, and then I use like normal sort of like earphones, I guess, for my um, music, like my iPod or my phone. But yeah, so um, basically we went into stores and they were out of stock of that colour and I found some on Catch, which was really cool. So I, my mum ended up ordering them for me. So this was sort of like a late Christmas present, but yeah, those arrived that day. Um, hold on, I set up my planner. I had some driving lessons. I went to work. I watched Magic Mike, which was kind of funny. Um, I also received um, some mail because I had ordered a Christmas present for my then girlfriend, um, I think, or was it her birthday present? I can't remember. It was like, I think it was like joint Christmas and birthday. Um, but yeah, I ordered some K-pop albums to send to her. So I think one of them arrived that day. And then I think the other one arrived another day because they came from two different like locations. Um, I FaceTimed with her. I ran some errands. And then mum and I did like a little shopping adventure, which was quite fun because um, the shop that I worked at was like in a shopping center, like a mall, I guess. So we did a few things there. Then it was New Year's, um, what else? I purchased a yoga pass, then we did more shopping. So yeah, and then I also watched this um, like Australian TV show on Stan because um, I think they had been like advertising it for a few weeks, so I decided to watch that. But yeah, that was pretty much that first week. I'm not really gonna go through the stickers because I do have pictures on my Instagram and I do believe the shops are tagged, but yeah, anyways. And then this kit is from, oh my God, what is the name of the shop? My mind is blanking. Um, oh my god. Come on. Olive Planico, there we go. I was like, I need to think for a second. And I'm a little bit sick, so my brain is like kind of fried. But anyways, this is a kit from Olive Planico. Um, this was the tropical kit, and I love how this looked. Um, yeah, so yes, I mailed out um, the present that I had to send. And then I did some filming. Um, I privated all my YouTube videos this week because I wanted to like start fresh, I guess. Um, Went to yoga, did Pilates. Um, I got my like Black Friday delivery, um, which was like all the stuff I had sent to my My US address because um, I do have a My US mail forwarding uh, for my US orders just to save on shipping and also, um, like I guess it just helps to consolidate it all and whatnot. Um, I had an allergy appointment because I, at this point I was still getting allergy desensitization, and then I had my work dinner, which was okay. It was a place I'd never been to, but it was just kind of awkward, I guess. Um, because I was still sort of new and I wasn't really as close to the girls that I worked with. So they were sort of having their own conversation while I was there. And it was just kind of, yeah, I don't know. 
Um, and then I finished watching a K-drama this week. I was watching Private Lives, which was actually really good, but it was kind of confusing because um, the beginning was like a lot of information and a lot of like time jumping, but it was pretty cool because um, it's like all to do with like private, like private detect, not detectives, but like, I don't know, like government things that like spies and whatnot. It was really cool actually. So it's on Netflix if you do want to watch it. So that was that week. Then this was my birthday week, which was like literally one of the worst weeks ever, personally. Um, but this spread is gorgeous. This is from A Little Spark. Um, so yeah, this this was the week I got dumped um, on the Monday. So like a few days before my birthday, which that was kind of um, sad, I guess. Um, but yeah, I was in a long distance relationship and we um, basically broke up that this week. Um, so that was kind of, you know, tough. Um, then I had some K-pop comebacks, which is super exciting. Treasure had their first um, album, I guess, um, which was really exciting. Um, and then I did a bit of shopping this week because it was my birthday week, so I bought like some clothes, which was really nice. I got um, like a couple of skirts from Dangerfield, and I got a pair of white feelers from Target, which was really nice. I remember that. Um, and then, like I said, I had my birthday, and then I had a hair appointment because I was originally supposed to go out for lunch on my birthday and then something happened with the booking so I actually ended up having to go the week after because um, I always go out for my birthday with my dad for lunch, um, usually to the casino, um, either to like one of the restaurants in the casino or one of the two sort of like buffet places in the casino and we usually go have lunch and then go play um, on the poker machines and then sort of go home. But yeah, so I was supposed to do that that day so I had originally booked my hair appointment and then um, that kind of fell through, but I kept my hair appointment anyway. And then, yeah, I kind of just had a lazy day and I was really in my feelings um, just because I always feel really lonely on my birthday because I don't have um, any friends, if any, kind of, I guess. Um, so, yeah, it kind of makes it tough. And I also don't have family close by because all my family lives in another country. So that also makes it tough. But, yeah. Um, then what else happened this week? I went to Ikea, which was super fun. I bought, like, candles and whatnot. Um... I also finished the book that I was reading because I was reading um, Illuminae, which I actually really enjoyed. I do have the other two books in the series, so I am going to get to them eventually. Um, what else? And then I ran some errands on the weekend. I went to lunch with my dad um, after running errands. And then this was when my dad had moved house to like the rental that they had um, with his girlfriend. So I visited his new house, which was really nice. And... Yeah, that was pretty much this week, which like I said, the spread is really nice and I really enjoyed the spread, just the week itself was kind of iffy, I guess, emotionally. Um, and then we have this spread, which is from, oh my god, um, Naomi Love Designs. Um, this is like a basketball themed spread because basketball season was supposed to start October the year before, then it got moved to November, and then it got moved to January because of COVID, um, and I actually never ended up going to a game um, because for, I think, most if not all of the season, it was like members only. Um, like if you're a member of the club, I guess, like uh, team membership, um, they weren't selling like general admission tickets just because of COVID and like um, seating restrictions and whatnot. So hopefully next season I can go to a game because I would really love to go. Um, my parents went a couple of times before I was born. Um, so yeah, but um, this day I actually received my sort of birthday present, birthday slash Christmas present from um, Meg. Um, who I guess was my girlfriend but like we still tried to be friends although at the moment it's kind of like we're not really friends at all which is really disappointing but anyway so yeah I, I received two k-pop albums from her because um that's kind of what we asked each other for Christmas birthday was to send each other um albums so we agreed on like two albums each so that's what I received that day um this week I guess another k-pop um Released this week was AB6, which I really enjoy them. And then One Is It Gravity also had their comebacks. Becky had his Japanese album. Yeah, there's a lot of like um, music releases. Uh, what else happened? I went to my like belated lunch with my dad and his girlfriend, and I got to wear this really pretty, like gorgeous dress that I ended up buying. I think it was like the week prior that I ended up buying it. And it's so cute. It's like this green dress. And it's something that I normally like wouldn't buy, but I really, really love it. And I have to go to that shop again and see if I can find like more nice dresses. Um, probably in the springtime because I do want to get into like wearing dresses and stuff more um, and then I received an AT's album um, another cape album that I bought from um, a friend because she was um, selling her albums because she um, needed like money and whatnot um, to move house and all this kind of stuff so um, she had an album that I had on my wish list and she lives in Singapore so like it was 
you know, we have a similar currency, so it wasn't too bad of a deal. Um, so that finally arrived and it came with like inclusions and everything, which is also really nice because a lot of the times people sell albums, um, either they sell them without inclusions or, um, yeah. So that was really nice. So that arrived at that day finally, because I think I had ordered that like, um, in December or whatnot, but yeah, um, my voice is going out. I apologize. Um, and then what else? I received some happy mail this week from Hello Pursuit Paper and Mrs. Meow. The PBC sale was on. This was the week that I went to Adventure World with my dad, which is like a pool, um, not pool, like a water park, I guess, um, but they do have dry rides as well. And originally we had meant to go to the like night party, but it ended up selling out. And then it was actually good that we didn't go because the day we went, the weather was absolutely horrible. Um, so yeah, and then like I said, I marked in the first Wildcats game of the season, which like I said, I didn't go at all. Um, but yeah, so that is this spread, which I do really like how this turned out. And then we have the final spread in January, which I love this spread so much. This is from Gabriella Elena Designs. Um, so what happened this week? So this was the week of Australia Day, which I don't really celebrate Australia Day um, in the sense, because obviously there's connotations behind that. Um, but I am very grateful for my parents um, to have moved to Australia and to have been born and raised in Australia, because I am yeah grateful to have the life that I have because my parents didn't have the um I guess the same experiences that I had growing up so yeah that's all I'm going to say on that um what else um Hyona had her comeback here I was trying to do like job hunting stuff um because I knew that I was my job was going to finish so I needed to see if I could like find something else I guess so this was like the beginning of that um I did some shopping because I had some vouchers I think or I think I had to buy some vouchers I can't remember what I did this like that shopping trip um Mercury went retrograde I had computer problems this is when we had a lock like our first lockdown of the year so that got announced at the end of the week um which that was kind of stressful I guess because then the next week was my dad's birthday so that was um interesting um but yeah like not a lot really happened this week oh this is the week I fell over at McDonald's kind of embarrassing but I went to get ice creams and then I tripped over one of those like I don't know what they're called like the things that stop the cars from like hitting the curb I just didn't see it and I like fell over it and like stacked it hardcore and so then I had to like go back in and be like look I'm so sorry I tripped over this thing and I dropped my ice creams can you remake them and they were thankfully like I wasn't the only person who had done that before so they were like oh yeah we can remake them are you okay and I'm like yeah so that was embarrassing I have a bit of a little scar on my shoulder from where I fell but other than that I was um pretty much okay so yeah that was kind of like the main thing that happened this week so yeah and then I was doing like expense tracking which um I ended up changing this. I don't mind sharing this but um I was doing expense tracking on these pages and I did this I think until February like and then I kind of changed this up and I haven't really been using this back page in most of the months um so yeah I'll show you what I did with that page instead so then moving on to February um, so again, same kind of setup on this page um, with the playlist, which I guess it will be um, in the description. Then here is the monthly, which again, um, a caress press kit and another artwork from Kitnish Jess, Kitnish Girl Jess. I loved this art so much, Valentine's. Um, and then again, uh, currently page, which um, I had to scratch out one of the dramas because it did get like postponed. And anyway, I still don't know what's happening with this like because they were like oh we've postponed it because um one of the actors in the drama was like in a bullying scandal which is like a really big thing in Korea um like a really serious thing in Korea so then they were like investigating it and I think it like went to court or something um and then the like broadcasting station or whatever was like oh we're tentatively gonna put it like for August and now it's August and we still don't know when it's gonna air if it's going to air or if they're going to like refilm it or not so that's fun but um <laughs> yeah um, and then my reading, it's the same things as always. And I think here I was still doing the feeling, but I do, like I said, take this out in future months. And again, with the goal setting. So then this first spread in February is one from Hello Petite Paper. This was my dad's birthday week, although I didn't do like a birthday spread, I guess, because I wanted to do sort of like a, because I think originally I was going to use this kit for Valentine's and then I found another kit that I wanted to use. But anyways, so, um, yeah, we were in pretty much in lockdown um, this week. I started reading Concrete Rose, which was the prequel to The Hate You Give, which I enjoyed, but I definitely didn't enjoy it as definitely didn't enjoy it as much as The Hate You Give. I also finished a K drama. I finished um, Mellow Is My Nature, which I actually really enjoyed. Although I preferred like the secondary characters to like the lead, I guess. 
Um, we also had bushfires this week, I believe. Um, so I put in like poor air quality because I remember going out to the to take the bins or like bring in the bins and I had to wear my mask because obviously um, we had mask restrictions because of coronavirus. Um, and then yeah, the poor air quality it was horrible. Um, K Book Comeback, what else? Um, here's where I redid my thumbnails and I think this is where I like um, rebranded like my Instagram and my shop like with a new logo and sort of separated my shop account and my um, my personal sort of like planning account so yeah I received some mail um, this day oh no I did some shopping this day so I ordered from Paper Milk and then I did ordered some face masks from Dangerfield because I needed some masks I think I was using the um, like surgical ones because my mum works in like the health area I guess so um, she brought some from work um what else I had a doctor's appointment because this was my allergy appointment and then I ordered Baskin and Robbins online because <laughs> I was like, craving ice cream so I did it on like I think menu log <laughs> and got it delivered which is quite funny um what else I was applying for jobs and then it was dad's birthday which um we did end up celebrating it the week after when we were out of lockdown and yeah like I said I did my new Instagram and um did all my like logo and whatnot the this was like the finale of true beauty which was another k-drama which i somewhat enjoyed but i don't know it was it was kind of hit and miss and then i also started watching tempted which is another k-drama i watched a lot of k-dramas if you wanted to know um which i really enjoyed this one so yeah so that was this week then we have the next week so this was a kit from um, planning like a pro this was valentine's week and i did kind of mess up the overlay here um but i do really love this spread so um this week i fixed my firefox because i was having issues with my firefox like it wasn't opening properly so i had to like reinstall it which that was fun um mom and i went for a 7k walk what else um we i think this was the week we started watching lucifer on netflix um which we ended up binge watching like quite a few seasons in like one go pretty much my mum became like obsessed. It was like her new favourite show. Um, my Dangerfield order arrived. What else? I was applying for jobs. It was a Lunar New Year, which was super exciting. Um, I watched the final um, To All The Boys movie, which I also really liked. Um, what else? I requested my US box. We went out for dinner for my dad's belated birthday, which was really nice because um, at that time he was living in an area that's like filled with restaurants and whatnot. So it was actually really good. And because we had been in lockdown for a week. I think everyone was just like really excited to be out of lockdown. So it was quite busy, which was really nice. And the weather was quite nice, which is also really nice. I think we still had to wear masks though. Like we were out of lockdown, but we had to wear masks for, I think it was two weeks or like a week. And I think it was two weeks, but yeah. And then we went for ice cream and I also got bubble tea, which was awesome because I haven't had bubble tea in a really long time. Um, so yeah, Valentine's Day. And then, um, I, like I said, I finished Tempted this week. I, I binge watched that. It was so good. I really enjoyed it. And then we also finished, um, the first season of Lucifer. So that was this week. I, like I said, I really enjoy the spread. And then this one is a printable kit from, um, I think this is from Planning Choco. I had this for a really long time. I had originally intended to use this last year. So I had this already printed and then I finally cut it like a few months ago, but yes. Um, this week, um, Chang'e had her full album release, which was really good because that was supposed to come out um, previously. And then I think, I can't remember if she had COVID or someone in her team had COVID. And so then it had to be like pushed back. Um, but yeah, so that finally came out, which I really enjoyed it. Um, NCT 127 had their Japanese album, which I also really enjoyed. And I still really want to buy it if I can find it. But Japanese albums are super expensive. Like Japanese albums tend to be like, way more than the Korean version. So like, for example, I live in Australia, so like most Korean albums are like about $50. Whereas if you want to buy a Japanese album, they're almost like in the sort of like 70 to $90 mark, depending on the type that you get and what's included. So yeah, anyways, um, I think here I was working on my rebrand um, for like my Etsy shop. Like I was fixing my um, like logo on my sheets and whatnot. What else? Um, we went late night shopping. Um, Tenken from Monster X had his mixtape, which, uh, not really my kind of thing that I enjoyed, but, um, it still was really nice that he was able to release some solo music. And then here we were still binge watching. So I think at this point we had finished season two and we were on to season three of Lucifer. When I tell you we binged watch that, we binged watch that. Um, but yeah, and then just the usual things that were, that have been happening for the past, you know, 
while so like driving lessons going to light therapy that kind of thing but yeah so that is this week and then this is another printable kit this one is from white rose printables um so shiny had their first comeback um with like i guess all of their members that are active i guess um because obviously yeah i'm not gonna go into that if you know about shiny you know about what i'm talking about but anyways um but yeah because all of the members were back from the military that were in the military um so that was that day and then we were still watching lucifer i had an earache oh horrible um what else i tied it on my planner box and found like this massive spider it freaked me out <laughs> anyways but yes that was funny because i have this box that has all like my um old planners and like all my sort of um like planning stuff in it i guess and it was getting super unruly so i was like oh let's tidy this up and then this massive spider came out of it and freaked me out and i called my dad i was like oh my god there's this massive spider i don't know what it is and then it kind of like went onto the carpet and because we have dark carpets i couldn't see it and then i think my mom found it like a few weeks later and set it free so <laughs> that was all sorted but that was terrifying um this was the week that i also broke my apple watch because i had it on my um chest of drawers which is actually in the living room because um we moved it when I was like cleaning my room or like redoing my room or whatever anyways and so I went to like grab it I think to put it on or like to charge it or whatever and it slipped out of my hands and dropped on the tiles and I smashed the glass so that was really really frustrating and I freaked out so badly so anyways so I ended up going to the Apple store to see what they could do about it and they told me to like contact support um because we would need to send it and if I contacted support then they would do it quicker than if I did it through the store so yeah i also voted early because this was like the first week of early voting for the state elections um Wonho had his comeback which was super exciting i reopened my etsy um i set up apple pay <laughs> because i'm i'm such like a i don't know i like try not to keep up to date with these kinds of things so like i never used apple pay and then we went to yoga um in the morning and mom and i wanted to get i think like smoothies or something and neither of us brought our cards and then um I had my phone because I think, I can't remember if at this point we already had to do like QR check-ins. Um, I think we did, but um, yeah, so I brought my phone and she was like, oh, just do like Apple Pay. So I learned how to like do it basically on the spot, which is quite funny. And then I had, like I said, my um, call with Apple support, which they told me like what to do. And they sent me like the um, shipping label and everything. Um, but because the, this was like a long weekend because it was a public holiday, I had to send it after the public holiday, I guess. So yes. Um, and yeah, that was pretty much this week. And then I did also receive some mail, um, I think, this week. Yeah, like my my US um, box. So yeah, that was that. Oh, and this was the day, um, this was the week my dad gave me like um, some money, which was really nice um, because he did like retire. So he got um, some of his super and he was really kind and gave me some money out of that, which I didn't ask him for at all. He just gave it to me, um, which was really nice because that did help like, um, me you know to stay financially good I guess because obviously I didn't have a job at this point and I did still have some bills and whatnot that I have to pay monthly so yeah that was really nice of him so that was that and then like I said again I was still doing this finances thing here but um yeah I stopped doing that so then moving on to March again um monthly sort of page with my important dates and my playlists again lots of k-pop on that one monthly spread which this looks really really boring <laughs> i swear some months look super full and then other months just look really um kind of blank but um yeah the usual like mail uh k-pop things appointments whatnot yes and then i think here i was still doing the feeling which i do think i take this out but again um what i was watching what i was listening to that kind of thing oh and then my goals page looks really bad just because I don't know I was struggling to like come up with goals and whatnot so that is that um so here is my first spread for March kit from Cress Press which I really love so this week um ATs had their comeback which I loved we were watching um we finally got up to season five of Lucifer which this was when there was only one half of season five because um I think in May I think the second half dropped um so yeah and then, like I said, I sent my Apple Watch to be repaired, which that actually got repaired quite quickly, which was really nice. Um, very, very had their comeback. What else? I started watching Hello My Twenties, which is a K-drama, which was recommended to me by, um, 
a girl on Tumblr because I did put like a whole list of like the things that were on my like Netflix to watch list and she was like oh my god watch this one it's really good and watch this one and watch that one so like I was like okay um what else the usual we were having rainy days at this point because this was like I guess pre autumn because like autumn technically started the 21st but if you do like the Australian way they go the first of March is autumn <laughs> um but yeah what else happened this week? I started my Google marketing modules, um, which I then actually found like a different one because I think the website that I originally used was like, I don't know if it was like, I don't know. It's like the same thing, but different. Uh, so I don't know. Um, and then um, this was when Planet Beautiful was having her closing down sort of sale. So I ordered from that. Um, and this was also when I started watching Vincenzo, which I also really enjoyed. I think that's probably like my favorite K-drama of the year. I think I'm going to have to say is Vincenzo. So yeah, really cool. Um, it's kind of like, I don't know. It's like one of those like crime kind of like law kind of things. And he's like, it, there's like some mafia elements to it as well, which is really cool. I don't know. It's just a cool drama overall. So I really enjoyed that. And then this week was um, Meg's birthday week and she loves Winnie the Pooh. So I did like a Winnie the Pooh theme. Um, and it also kind of worked because this kit, I think was called like Autumn Pooh. Um, this is from... Sweet bean plants. So I just thought it matched with like sort of like week before autumn officially started and whatnot. But yes. Um, so this week. Um, what do we do this week? Um, I went to Ikea. Um, and then this was when dad like bought his like new house that he's in at the moment. Um, so like basically what happened was he bought this house and then they had to do like renovations to it and stuff. So like by the time all the renovations and whatnot were finished, then his like actual lease was up in the place that he was renting so that he could finally move. But um, yeah, so I went to like have a look at it with him because um, obviously they had bought it. And so he gave me like a little tour of it and whatnot, which was really nice. Um, but yeah, went to Ikea. What else? Um filmed, did this, I applied for volunteering this day, um, which I, it was really funny because I applied for volunteering and then I was like, I never heard back. So I was like, oh, I guess it just fell through. And then I got like an email, I think it was a month or two ago. And they were like, hi, are you still interested? Sorry, we had like a bunch of, um, you know, emails responding to the ad that they had. So like they were just overwhelmed with the responses and that's why it took them so long to get back. Um, so yeah, then I had to pay for my Apple watch repair, which oof, that was a lot of money, but, um, I didn't want to buy like a new one cause that watch was a gift for my birthday, um, last year. So it was still fairly new and you know, I had the money to pay for it. So I just decided to fix it. Um, Wavy had their comeback, which Wavy is a, um, Mando pop group. What else? More job applications, which tends to be the trend. Um, I bought my language books from Amazon cause I decided to start learning Korean or at least teaching myself Korean. Um, we went to the optometrist. This was election day, but mom and I had already voted early. Um, I rewatched Spud, which is a um, South African movie with Troy Sivan, which I totally forgot how like kind of inappropriate it was. Like some of the jokes really did not age well, but anyways, um, yeah, I just rewatched that. I don't know why. I think I had like randomly remembered about it or like I was watching something related to Troy Sivan and then I was like oh my god yeah I remember that he was in this movie or I think it got added net to Netflix it was something um but yeah and then what else um I think that's like the bulk of what happens this week again other than this week unfortunately are just kind of like really repetitive but yes so that was that week and then this was the first week of autumn officially and I love the spread so much this is from Starlight Paper Studio um this was the collapse kit, which she does actually have in her store again. Casita just um, reopened and did like a sort of new releases sale and whatnot. She has like a, a new autumn kit, which uh, we like are in winter and almost into spring, I guess. So nowhere near autumn, but I think if she still has it in her shop um, for Black Friday and I'm still planning, I might pick it up. But anyway, so this week um, I mailed an order and I also mailed out a present for like my auntie my mom's like best friend who lives in Sydney. Um, what else? I took off my SNS. Um, some K-pop comebacks. What else? Uh, I was watching Hell in My Twenties. Driving lessons, working on my Google modules. What not. Um, my Apple Watch arrived all fixed. Um, and then also um, an Amazon order arrived because I think my mom and I placed Amazon orders at the same time. Um, so that was fun. 
Um, what else? Da -da -da. Movie night. I forget what I actually watched this night. And then this was when I started watching um, ABC Exposed because they did this one, um, like, it's like a three episode, like, investigative journalism thing and it was about um this like fire at Luna Park in like the 70s I think it was which was super interesting because I had never heard about that um case at all um uh, which was really interesting and then I did also watch Operation Varsity Blues which was like the um college admission scandal which was also super interesting um I had a hair appointment uh this was my auntie's auntie's birthday I went to lunch with my dad in the city and I bought some k-pop albums I bought um ATZ's album Treasures album and I also found an NCT Dream album from last year that was released last year. Um, so that was super exciting. Um, I need to go to the city again because, like, the K-pop stores in the city. Because our, uh, like, music stores don't sell K-pop albums. The only ones they have are, like, BTS. And I have all the BTS albums that I need, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah. And then um, I had some ear pain and I was really tired. But, yeah, that was basically this week. I love this spread so much. Oh, and Rhythm Hive Season 1 came out, which is a rhythm game. I have mentioned it a few times, although I haven't really been playing it. I kind of like lost interest in it. Um, but yeah, it is a rhythm game that has BTS and hyphen and TXT, which is really fun. So that was that week. And then we have this spread, which is a kit from Ashley Ann Lance, who I believe is closing if she hasn't already closed, um, which is really sad. But I know that she'll like whatever she ends up doing um, in the future, if she ends up coming back or whatnot, will be amazing. Um, so yeah um so yeah another amazon delivery which i think was my mum's order i think um i was watching vincenzo i had to email some things for my dad because this was when um he was in the process of like planning his new business um so yes i finished hell in my 20s i started watching run on um which i kind of like not gave up on but i haven't really been watching because i found other shows that i like a little bit more but i feel like when i don't have as much to watch because there's been a lot of TV shows at the moment that I've been watching um but when there's like kind of like a lull in um k-drama releases or tv releases I might go back to it um I had to pick up my mom's glasses from the optometrist what else um oh I had to get a new like bus pass because I lost mine so I had to go and pick that up and then I ended up getting bubble tea in the city which was really fun and I went to Uniqlo and I bought some things what did I buy at Uniqlo I can't remember uh, I bought um Workout clothes, yes. And then I went to Mimco and bought a wallet because I needed a new wallet. Um, I bought some Easter chocolate because <laughs> it was one week until Easter. Um, and then I was watching more ABC Exposed because the episodes were like once a week, I guess. Um, and then here I was researching um, this. I was trying to find a textbook for Chinese, Mandarin Chinese, um, because I did learn it for, I think, a year and a bit when I was at school. Um, and I gave my textbooks that I had to a friend, um, who were no longer friends, um, like a high school friend, I guess, high school and university friend. Um, but anyways, and yeah, I wanted to remember like what they were called because I couldn't remember what they're called. And then I found them and I found out that they have like an app, like a mobile version, I guess, that has like the textbook, the workbook, and then also like some activities and whatnot. So once I kind of finish, um, working on Korean, I will probably get into that because... I actually really enjoy learning languages. I'm doing Korean at the moment and then I'm also doing Japanese on Duolingo, although not really seriously. Um, but the book series that I have for Korean also has a Japanese series, so who knows, I might pick that up eventually. But yeah. Um, so yeah, that was the sort of bulk of this week. And then, like I said, I did change up this page. So um, for every quarter I decided on this page, I will do a quarterly review. And then for all the other months, I'll just kind of leave it blank because I couldn't really think of what else to use it for. So I've kind of put in like the shows that I have watched. So I watched like, and when I say shows watched, I mean like finished. So I finished seven <laughs> K-dramas, which I know is kind of crazy. Um, three, just like regular sort of like Netflix series or TV series. Um, and then I also watched three movies. And then I put like my top three. So my top three were Tempted and Hello Twenty, Hello My Twenties, which were K-dramas. And then I also watched um, the third To All The Boys movie, which I also put as a favorite. And then I have some songs that I played on loop, which are all the songs from my um, monthly playlist, I guess. The sticker shops that I've tried, which is really fun to see like um, if I've tried any new shops, if I've tried any Australian shops, um, that kind of thing, printable shops, that kind of thing. Um, some exciting moments, books read or and currently reading. So I finished one book and then I was currently reading two books at that time. Um, how my social media has changed over the quarter. So like, um, have I gained followers? Have I lost 
followers, that kind of thing. Um, and then any sort of like important events for the next quarter. So here I put like April, we had um, Easter and Anzac Day. May was Mother's Day and then June, Hello Winter and my mom's birthday. So that's what I decided to do um, for that. Then going into April, um, so again, same kind of thing with the sort of monthly note pages and monthly page. Um, again, a kit from Caress Press, which this one looks really dull again. Um, and then we did go into lockdown again in April. So that was another thing we had to deal with. Um, but I did go to the cinema for the first time in a while in April. And that was like the only time I've been to the cinema this year. Um, so that was exciting. Um, what else? Yeah, and then here is where I got rid of like the feeling part. So I only really have celebrating, um, wish list, looking forward to reading, social media and watching. And then again with the goals and sort of to do's, which I don't really take these goals seriously. I really need to like work out like my goal setting and kind of do this properly. But I kind of just like do it as I think of them. And so I don't always like follow through with them, I guess, as you can see. Um, but yeah, and then this is stuck. So this was my Easter spread. This was a kit from... Um, Planet Beautiful, which I ordered during her closing down sale, which her processing for that was quite long, which is also another reason why this, um, I didn't end up doing like a quarterly fl flip through. Um, so yes, um, what else? Um, what am I doing? Uh, so yeah, I was working on my Korean, I was watching Vincenzo, Baekhyun had his comeback, um, what else? Allergy appointment, which this I think was my second last one I think it might have been um just more job applications and whatnot um Hoshi from 17 had like a little solo thing because um they were doing like this thing where each member got like their own little solo release kind of thing which was really cool um what else lazy day designing yeah not really a lot happened this week wasn't a very exciting one but that is that spread and then we have the spread, which is from um, Simply Watercolor Co., which I really actually love how this turned out. And um, I kind of need to have a look at what she has in her shop because I do really like how this spread turned out. But um, so we had Easter Monday and then Astro, which is a K-pop group, had their comeback. Um, I think my mom was on holidays from work. Um, she, I think she took like two weeks off or something. So um, we got to spend a lot of time together and do a lot of things. So... Like we went for brunch a couple of times. Um, again, working on job applications, working on my Korean. Um, I edited my dad's like website, like did the proofreading for him and whatnot. Bought some more cutting mats. I went to IKEA again. <laughs> oh, I forget what we had to buy, but we went to IKEA. Um, more job applications, and then this was the week that Vodafone had their like outage. It was so weird because I remember um, I was just sitting here and my dad texted me and he's like, can your phone connect to internet without the Wi-Fi? And so I tried it and it didn't work. And I was like, oh no, it didn't. Let me check to see like what's going on. And so like I Googled, Googled it and it was like, I think it was like nationwide because um, Vodafone is a phone provider, I guess, um, like a service provider. But yeah, they had like an outage, which was kind of funny because mom and I had planned to like go out and do some errands and things that day. And then we didn't end up going because most places, I think if not every place, you have to um, use a like QR code check-in they do have like physical um like copies as well that you can use so like paper ones um but we, just, we were just like no nah, can't be bothered <laughs> so we didn't end up going um and then there were some planner sales um this week i finished reading concrete rose and then this was when i was watching tale of the nine tailed which is another k-drama i really enjoyed and then like i said i did go to the cinema um in april i went to see the courier which is a movie with benedict cumberbatch it was actually super interesting it's like set in the Cold War, which I did do um, history in my final two years of high school. Um, and we did cover the Cold War, I think, for my year, year 12 exams, like my exit exam, ugh, exit exams. Um, so yeah, so like I kind of understood the context and whatnot, which was really cool. Um, and I did really enjoy that. So yes. Um, so yeah, that is this week. Then we have this spread, which is from uh, Mum and Me Handmade Designs. Um, so what happened this week? Again, working on Korean, um, I got my My US delivery. I was applying for graduate programs and whatnot. Um, I also had to book Mother's Day, um, like brunch, which that was a whole thing. Cause it was like, I booked it online um, because like I tried to 
like, cause I went to like try and call them, I guess. And it was like, oh no, you need to book it online or whatever. Or like the thing wasn't working. So you had to book it online. And then I got like a call from them saying like, oh no, you actually had to like call. And I was like, oh yeah, I wanted to do that. But when I went to book, it was like redirecting me to book it online. So then I had to like fix that. And then, yeah. And then it ended up getting like double booked. So they called me again and they were like, oh yeah, it just got double booked. And I was like, oh yeah, I had already paid, um, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. That was like, oh, actually, no, I think I called them and then I had to book it online. And then I don't know. It was like a whole thing. But anyways, it got sorted. So, yes, um, I got my deliverer from Craft Online, which was my cutting mats. I went to the city with my mum um, this day. I forget what we bought, but I think we went like for Korean and everything. We just had like a nice night out, which was really fun. Um, went to the osteopath, bought some stickers this day, which I did my first ever order with Sadie stickers, which is super exciting. Um, I put here Olaplex and Matcha face mask, so pampered myself, but yeah, pretty like chilled week. Again, I said this before, but like most of my weeks tend to be pretty boring, um, especially like the first few months of the year because at this time I wasn't employed, so I was at home pretty much every day. So yeah, um, okay, then this spread is from Planners Anonymous which I really enjoyed. This one was my first time using a kit from her shop. Um, I do want to sign up for the like monthly subscription that they have, but I just feel like I wouldn't use everything in there. And they do have like a sticker only subscription, but I don't know. I'm still thinking about it because I do want to try like one um, planner subscription because like I really like the Honeybee Shop one and I do really like this one. Um, and then Villa Beautiful also has one that's not really a subscription, but I don't know. So like if you have a planner subscription that you really enjoy, like can you leave it in the comments and let me know and sort of like it can be a like mainly one that comes with stickers because um that's kind of what I use the most. Um but if it comes with like scrapbooking papers and whatnot as well, I might use those because I am trying to think of like maybe going back to um like journaling or something. I don't know. I used to do scrapbooking when I was younger and I really enjoyed that. But anyways, um so yeah, this week uh Day six and New East had their comeback. I received happy mail. Again, applying for jobs, watching um, Netflix and whatnot. And then this was the week of Anzac Day and Earth Day. And then we also went into lockdown this week, which um, was kind of frustrating, but also really scary because um, one of the places the person had been was in the city. And like, thankfully they were there the day after I was in the city because they went to the city like the week prior. And I was in the city on the Friday and they were in the city on the Saturday. So it was like super close. And um, my dad also had like a similar experience that he went, I think, grocery shopping. And they went to the grocery shopping the same day, but like at a different time. And so it was like outside of the time that like my dad went. So he didn't have to worry about it. But it was like, yeah, just a little too close to comfort. Um, but yeah, it happens, I guess. I also placed a Dashing Diva order. I can't remember if this was my first order or my second order. Um, I think this was my first order. Cause I had stopped getting my nails done because I was trying to test a theory because I have vitiligo on my hands. Um, so I was trying to test a theory whether the acetone was making my vitiligo worse because I was getting um, SNS like dip nails. And so you need to use acetone to take that off. Um, so I wanted to test a theory by not really getting my nails done, which I mean, it has kind of improved, like it hasn't worsened, um, but it's kind of like about the same, which obviously it's like an autoimmune things, but um, it's just because like whenever I injure my skin or whatnot, so like if I fall, if I cut myself, if I burn myself, um, that does cause new spots. Um, and so that's what we were thinking, like maybe the chemicals, you know, because acetone is a chemical, um, was causing like more spots, I guess. Don't know why I said that, but anyways, um, playing Rhythm Hive, watching more Tale of the Nine Tailed, editing my dad's website. And then I also placed a Booktopia order for my mom because there were some things that she wanted. Um, so that ended up being like her Mother's Day present. So yes, that was this week. This is stuck together. And then we have another spread from um, Planet Beautiful, which I didn't end up filling this out, which I probably should do that. Um, but yes, this was the foodie kit from her shop and the foodie art from um, Kiddush Girl Dress. So we had a public holiday because um, Anzac Day fell on a weekend. And then the end of lockdown was announced. Um, what else? And Hyphen had their comeback, AB6 had a comeback. Um, I was watching Tale of the Nine Tailed, Mayor of Easttown, Vincenzo. Um, we did online yoga this week, which was an interesting experience because I had never used Zoom. Um, so that was that was an interesting experience, I'll tell you that. Um, 
And yeah, I think we came out of lockdown on the Tuesday, I think, or the Wednesday. So then like, again, we were back to normal, but I think, I can't remember if we had to wear masks again at this time or if it was just like, we were back to normal, but um, yeah, I had my final allergy desensitization appointment, which was kind of crazy considering um, like I had been doing my desensitization for three years. So that went really quickly in my brain. Um, so yes, um, I did some errands, rainy days, Itzy had their comeback. Oh, I think I started watching um, So I Married the Anti-Fan, which um, I had watched the like movie version, which um, is a Chinese movie with Chanel from EXO. Um, and it's actually a webtoon and they made it into a movie and then they made it into a TV show, which the TV show, they actually filmed it a few years ago and then they just never got around to airing it because they couldn't find like a channel to like, none of the broadcasting stations wanted to air it. Um, so then it ended up being like a web drama, not a web drama, but it ended up being like a yeah, online exclusive or something, something like that. Anyway, so I started watching that. I went to Ikea with dad because I think this day he had to buy um, like a bin or something for his new house and he was buying like a few other things. And I had dinner at his house, which was really nice. I remember that because we had um, like a stew in the, um, the crock pot, really nice. Um, and then like I said, I was watching more of So at the Interfan because I had like two episodes a week, applying for jobs, doing, doing the usual, but yeah. So that was that spread. And I realized I never finished filling that out. So I'm filming this on another day just because I ran out of time yesterday when I was filming the rest of this and I got interrupted. So yeah, um, I have no idea if I was saying something in the previous clip or not, but anyways. So then moving on to May, again, we have the sort of dashboard, like the monthly sort of page, which I've decorated. And then we have my playlists spread as well as the dates to remember. And here is the monthly. I love how this one looked. Um, May was such an overwhelming month. May and June were both like really crazy in comparison to the sort of like beginning of the year. I feel like January was quite, quite busy. February was mm, kind of. And then like, yeah, it just didn't, it was really quiet until May and um, June. So yes, here is my monthly spread and then my currently and vision board so then this is the first week which was mother's day this is a printable kit from planet pixie co which my machine had some fun with and so some of the stickers are a little off cut or here on the sidebar and i did end up uh smudging some things on the sidebar as well so that's always fun um what happened this week i received my order from dashing diva um Submitted some job applications. Oh, yeah, this is when I had to um, return the phone call to do with the Mother's Day booking because I think I mentioned this in the previous clip, one of the previous clips, and I'm pretty sure I said it wrong, but what happened was that I tried to book online. It wouldn't let me book online, so I called them to book for Mother's Day. Went through. It was all fine. Then I get a call, like, a week later saying, like, oh, no, actually, you have to do it online because it's, like, a set menu and yada, yada, yada. So I did that. And then because it was, like, double booked, I had a phone call this day. Um, and so then I had to call them back. And they were like, oh, no, it's okay. Seeing as the one that you booked online is all paid for or whatever, we'll just cancel the other one. So it was so frustrating. But anyways, it was done. Um, and, yeah, what else happened this week? Not a lot, really, just kind of the usual. And then this was the end of our mask mandate from the April lockdown, like the end of April lockdown. Um, yeah, and then it was Mother's Day. And I just want to see what I put under here. Yeah, that was pretty much it. And just like, you know, the usual applying for jobs and whatnot. This is my first time using like a, not extender, but like a foldable sticker. So that was quite fun. Um, and I think um, I tried my Dashing Diva press on nails magic press for the first time this week because I put them on for Mother's Day and I think I wore them for like um a week or yeah like well a few days because they were quite long and I didn't put them on very well and I was like oh I was scared they were going to pop off they didn't but I was just scared they were going to so I took them off a bit early but yeah and then this is the next spread this is a kit from Casey Creates which I really love this spread and I kind of love how monochromatic it is like with the different shades of like kind of gold, um, yellow, I guess. So what happened this week? NCT Dream had their first full album, so that was like the hot sauce um, release. Oh, I had issues with my McDonald's app, the MyMacus app, that it wasn't working, and so I had to do my um, 
Apple Pay for that. That was frustrating because I literally got to the door and like it just wasn't working. Um, what else? One has had their comeback. I was watching Mayor of Easttown. I think this is where I started um, Use of My Talent, which I haven't finished yet. I'm really bad with Chinese dramas. Like, I will start them and then it'll take me forever to finish them. I remember Meteor Garden took me forever to finish, which to be fair, it had like 50 episodes and this one doesn't have that many. It has like, I don't know, 25 or something, but I'm pretty bad with um, keeping up to date with Chinese dramas. And then I had a video interview for a graduate program, which I didn't end up getting because I got an email like a month ago or so saying that I didn't get it. Um, Rhythm Hive season two, very fun. Um, what else? Working on my Korean going to yoga. Yeah, the usual, the usual. But I do really, really love how this turned out. And then this has to be one of my favorite spreads. Um, this is a kit from The Giving Girl. This was my first time ever trying her shop. Um, and I'm kind of keeping my eye out for like another kit that I like because I love how this spread turned out. Um, but yes, so this week, um, I went to the city with my mom on the Monday. So that was very exciting. Um, and we went and had Korean food and did shopping and whatnot. And then I also received some more like masks because I bought some more online. Um, just to always have more in stock, um, you know, when we need them. And then Rocket Punch and From Us 9, which are two girl groups, had their comebacks, which I really enjoyed. I booked a hair appointment. What else? Picked up my prescription. Oh, this is when Apple Music crashed and I had to like fix my entire music library basically because I thought that it was like my iPod that wasn't working. And so then I, I don't know, it was like a whole thing. And yeah, Apple Music crashed and that's what it was. But um, yes, yeah, so I had to end up fixing my entire like iTunes library because of how I had my iPod synced. So that was fun. Not. Um, what else? And then... I had a phone interview for um, a retail job, which had like multiple stages. Um, what else? What else? My dad had his gallbladder surgery this week, which went well. Everything is fine. Um, I had a hair appointment. I went for lunch. It rained. But yeah. And then I think I did another set of press on nails this week as well, which was like this really gorgeous, like sagey kind of green with like a, I think it's meant to be like, it was meant to be like a tortoise shell. It was really nice. Um, so yeah, that was that week, which I'm, I really love how this turned out. And then we have the last week in May, which I had, uh, I had all intents and purposes to film and, and like do this and I filmed it and I edited it and I never got around to uploading it. Um, but anyways, um, this is a, another kit from Starlight Paper Studio. I just love Cedar's shop. Um, so this week I bought some new shampoo, which sounds really kind of boring, but, um, cause I have been using like a certain brand for a few months and then we went to the hairdresser and she was like, oh, actually, cause we were asking her like about different like shampoo recommendations and whatnot. She's like, oh yeah, try like this one and this one and whatever. So, um, like near the, one of the supermarkets, there's like one of those, um, wholesale like beauty supplies places that sells like you know the salon branded shampoos and whatnot so I went and got shampoos which was actually quite exciting a bit overwhelming I must say um then more job applications I had another phone interview for like a different retail job um Everglow had their comeback um this was when I got my email about volunteering um so that was very exciting so I just had to like email back about that I had a webinar for like the first retail job that I had a phone interview for because like I said that had quite a few stages I also had an interview for my volunteering which wasn't really an interview it was sort of just like a um more like a get to know each other kind of thing like um what I wanted to get out of volunteering and how I guess the organization that I'm working for could help me and that kind of thing so yes and then Lucifer 5b um season 5b released which we still actually haven't finished it and I think the announcement for season six like just went up um a week ago or so so yes and we had a big storm applying for jobs this is when I had new releases which was like my first new releases in like such a long time um because I had been working on them and I wanted to get them up early and then just like May happened <laughs> so that was that was that um but yeah and then I binge watched part three of Money Heist which I still need to finish part four and then I know that part five I think is coming out in September but yeah so that was that week and then we go into June. So last bit of this flip through. 
And then here is my playlist. Again, I forgot to add something onto that, but anyways. And then this is my June monthly, which looks super overwhelming. And it just was overwhelming. But anyways, um, <coughs> oh, sorry. Um, yes, and then my usual vision board and currently spread. So this first week is a kit from Caress Press. This was the January mystery, um, which I bought as overstock. And I do believe I had to buy this one as an ultimate, I think, or like a full kit, something like whatever. No, I think it's full. Whatever, like the second largest kit that she has, I had to buy it because the um, essentials were sold out by the time I finally got to it. So um, I did have plenty left over after this spread, but I love how this turned out. And I did color blocking, and it just, it just, I love how this turned out. Um, so yeah, this week um, I got another dashing deep order. I think this is my second order because I ordered the um, the gloss strips. TXT had their comeback and Joy also had her solo release. Um, I had to reinstall iTunes because it wasn't opening, it wasn't working. Um, Monster X had their comeback. It was two weeks till I had to go to the dentist. <laughs> Fun. Um, I, oh, this was when I got a phone call for like the job that I'm actually working in now um, for an interview. So that was exciting. I also got my flu vaccine, um, which I get every year because I have asthma. Um, I finished Money Heist Part 3. I ordered some Crest Press monthlies. I worked on my notes pages. I bought Tombos, which this was the day that I accidentally bought the same colored Tombow twice. Like, I, because I went to buy them and I picked a red color, thought I didn't have that color, and then I did. So now I learned my lesson and I have a list on my phone of like all the Tombow colors that I own so I don't double up on any. Um, but yeah, and then I was catching up on K dramas. I also ordered some stickers from some Australian shops over the weekend. And yeah, that was pretty much this week. And it was the finale of Mayor of Easttown as well, which I really enjoyed that show. And one month until my mom's birthday. Then we have this spread, which I didn't film. Um, this one is from Stella Bow Sticker Coat, which I will admit I had some issues with this kit. Um, like the stickers just weren't cut very well. Um, I don't know what the problem was. Um, and I did also send her an email to let her know. Didn't hear anything back from her. Um, so, yeah, but anyways, um, I still really like how this turned out. And I, again, tried to do some sort of color blocking, um, which I really like how this turned out. So we had a public holiday on the Monday. I think it was WA day, I think, um, like a state public holiday. Went to Kmart, did some, did some things. Oh, yeah, this was the day that um, our Foxel wasn't working, like the HD channels weren't working for whatever reason. Um, and we tried like resetting the box and doing all the troubleshooting they had on the website and whatever and it wasn't working. So my dad called Foxtel and they were going to come in, I think. Anyways, as I was saying, yeah, we had to, my dad had to call Foxtel and they were going to come in um, throughout the week to fix that. Um, EXO had their comeback, which is super exciting because it was their first comeback in a little while. Um, and a, a few of the members had returned from the military and some had um, gone at this point. But um, this was filmed like before those members left. So that was really good. Um, yeah, I had my job interview for, I guess, the job that I'm working for now. This was the first of two because I had two interviews for that job. Um, and I went and tried a Korean restaurant that's, like, close to where I work, which is really nice. Um, so, yeah, and then, like I said, the guy came and fixed the Foxtel, which basically because there's construction next door, it was blocking our satellite. So they had to move the satellite to a different part of the roof and it was all fixed. So that was good. Um, what else? Um... Yeah, I had to reinstall Silhouette because it wasn't opening and then and then I fixed it and then the the new version of Silhouette was being like funky with the um, PDFs. Like when you try to save as a PDF, the lines go wobbly. So then I had to like reinstall the old version that I had. So that that was fun. But anyways, I reorganized um, my files and stuff as well, my computer. What else? I had, um, I went to the osteopath, which was really good. Um, Mum and I went for a walk and we went for lunch at like the cafe that we sort of go to um and yeah and I realized that I put the same thing twice so I must have been looking at something else because I realized I just put the same thing twice for this week <laughs> so maybe I was looking at the wrong um spread but anyways <laughs> um and then next spread this one is from Misha Ashley Designs which I love how this turned out it's so stunning um so 
On the Monday, I had my immunology appointment, which was a like telehealth appointment. And it was so frustrating because my appointment was 9.45 and I had an appointment um, to go and get a facial at 12.45. And this immunology appointment, because it's like at the hospital or whatever, like they take forever. And so I was waiting on hold, like in the little waiting room kind of thing to be connected for so long, only for it to be like a really quick appointment um, because it's just like a follow-up basically for my... Um, desensitization which I still have one more um, follow-up appointment in I think six months um, so yeah because I think they just want to see how I go during the springtime um, seeing as I finished my treatment and whatnot just to make sure that I don't need anything else um, but yeah so that was kind of frustrating but luckily it finished like just on time for me to like go and get the bus and go to my facial which is really nice so yes I had a facial which was really nice to treat myself um, and then I went and ran some errands and then this was elite week. So like, um, because season four of elite was on Friday, I don't know why, but they did like a little special. So like, um, there were like little mini episodes for the different characters, um, to sort of like bridge season three and season four together. So that was released all week. Um, and then, like I said, I had my second interview for the job that I'm currently in, which was really good. And then I think I got the offer this week as well. Um, so yes, um, and then I was just doing some volunteering work. There was a couple of K-pop releases that were very exciting this week. Um, so Bam Bam and Yu Gyeom, who are both um, members from GOT7, who's, which is no longer a, a band, I guess. Um, they disbanded. Um, but they had their solo um, releases this week, which was super exciting. Went to the dentist, which was good. My teeth are all happy and healthy, which is what we want to hear. Um, and then mum and I went for, went for a walk and I think it was just so cold that like my joints were really sore. So like my hands were in so much pain afterwards and I think it was just because it was so cold. Um, but I was like freaking out for a little bit because I've never had pain like that before in my um, joints. But luckily it went away. So that was all good. Um, yeah, and then I got my job offer for the job that I'm currently in, which was really exciting. Mum and I went to the city again on the Friday and did like had a nice night out and did you know shopping, went for dinner, that kind of thing, which was quite fun. I bought a bullet journal, <laughs> um, which I have started using and I set it up over the weekend of this week, which was quite fun. Um, and then I was doing some onboarding tasks and things for my job. And this was the <laughs> weekend that our backyard flooded because, um, like I said, there was construction next door and the construction broke our like fence, so there was like a hole in it, and so then all the like sand and stuff from the construction site was coming through that and then it was raining on top of that and so then like our backyard got flooded which luckily it didn't get into the house it was just the backyard um and it's all sorted now so that's fine it happened I think two times and then the fence actually broke but anyways um but yeah and then like I said I started on setting up my bullet journal and that was pretty much this week and then this is the last spread for this video um well and then the quarterly flip through, but not quarterly, through, blah, 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 the quarterly review. Um, but yeah, this spread, this kit is from Lexi Kylie Designs. Um, so this is perfect for the first official week of winter. So I put in winter solstice. Um, yeah, the, the builders came and inspected the damage and so did the owner because um, we are renting. Um, I was working on my bullet journal. I bought my mum's birthday present um, because this, I think the Monday was Prime Day and my mum wanted a Kindle and... Um, so that was that was good. I got the Kindle and the case for it. Um, what else? I picked up my uniform for work, which was super exciting. Um, got some mail, like plenty of mail. Um, and then I had an interview for like another job that I had applied for before the job that I got offered. Do you know what I mean? And I hadn't started yet, um, but like I didn't end up getting that job anyway. I think I had like a couple of interviews for that because it was another retail one that had the, the same retail one that had like multiple stages. That was like the next stage. I think I had like, yeah, like three or four interviews for that. But anyways, um, but I didn't end up getting it, which is fine because I have the job that I'm in now. Um, and then I had to go and buy my work boots because I do work in a warehouse. And so we have to wear um, steel caps. So I had to go and buy those because originally my dad had wanted to give me his, but we don't wear the same size shoe, unfortunately. So I had to go and buy my own, which was fine. Um, I had online training just to get me all ready. And then I had my actual like um, induction day, um, which was super overwhelming. It was information overload and I was just kind of overwhelmed. But anyways, um, so yeah. And then 
Um, on the Friday, I like just chilled at home and my mom went to work and then I woke up and I checked um, Facebook because that tends to be like the first thing I do is like I try to check Facebook or Twitter just to check any news particularly. Um, and so I went on and I think there was like a press conference or something like that and we had to wear masks again because there was a case. And then I think we ended up going into lockdown the week after, which will be in the next flip through. Um, but yeah, and then just finishing off. Again, we have the quarterly review. So I had finished three K dramas, um, two sort of regular Netflix kind of series or regular non Korean series, I guess, um, and two movies. And then I have my playlist, my sort of like top plate, I guess. Shops tried, which um, was there, and then some exciting moments. I finished um, two books, I guess. Of the year and then I was currently reading one or out of the quarter I guess and I was currently reading one and then um, what else Ooh, my Instagram kind of thing like my social media and then I did my next quarter so I put like my dad moves house in July and then my dad was having his house wedding housewarming party which was just this past Sunday um, and then in September we have Father's Day um, beginning of spring and also the queen's birthday public holiday so yes that is my flip through for the first six months apologies for ha having to hear my voice for the past i don't know however long this video is um but we'll see if i like it otherwise i'll probably do a voiceover although that'll take me forever um but yeah i'm i really love how all of these spreads have turned out and how my planner looks and i can't wait to show you the um second half but yeah that is it for this video um give this a thumbs up and subscribe like I probably said at the beginning, I'm hoping to catch up on a few videos um, now that I'm sort of back from my hiatus. I do want to film um, a few plan with me's, which I will hopefully be able to do tomorrow um, because I don't have work until Friday. So yeah, that is it for this video um, and I will see you in the next one. Let me be